I Would I Were a Careless Child by George Gordon Byron Read for LibriVox.org by Raphael Phoenix Blaze May 2012, Dallas, Texas I would I were a careless child, still dwelling in my highland cave, or roaming through the dusky wild, or bounding o'er the dark blue wave. The cumbrous pomp of Saxon pride accords not with the free-born soul, which loves the mountain's craggy side, and seeks the rocks where billows roll. Fortune, take back these cultured lands, take back this name of splendid sound. I hate the touch of servile hands, I hate the slaves that cringe around. Place me among the rocks I love, which sound to ocean's wildest roar. I ask but this, again to rove, through scenes my youth hath known before. Few are my years, and yet I feel the world was ne'er designed for me. Ah, why do darkening shades conceal the hour when man must cease to be? Once I beheld a splendid dream, a visionary scene of bliss. Truth, wherefore did thy hated beam awake me to a world like this? I loved, but those I loved are gone had friends my early friends are fled how cheerless feels the heart alone when all its former hopes are dead though gay companions o'er the bowl dispel awhile the sense of ill though pleasure stirs the maddening soul the heart the heart is lonely still how dull to hear the voice of those whom rank or chance whom wealth or power have made though neither friends nor foes associates of the festive hour give me again a faithful few in years and feelings still the same and i will fly the midnight crew where boisterous joy is but a name and woman lovely woman thou my hope my comforter my all how cold must be my bosom now when in thy smiles begin to pow. Without a sigh I would resign this busy scene of splendid woe to make that calm contentment mine which virtue knows or seems to know. Fain would I fly the haunts of men I seek to shun, not hate mankind. My breast requires the sullen glen whose gloom may suit a darkened mind. Oh! That to me the wings were given, which bear the turtle to her nest. Then would I cleave the vault of heaven to flee away and be at rest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.